Windows or Mac? Which is better? For the next 30 days, I'll be replacing all of my Windows-based devices with this MacBook Pro. To prove once and for all which operating system is superior. It's Windows, obviously. The initial setup experience was surprisingly smooth. Once you get over the fact the buttons are on the wrong side and you learn how the dock down the bottom works, everything else is similar but slightly different. Right off the bat, some things that are different are the way you install and uninstall applications. On Windows, you have to download a file, select all the config options and click install. On Mac, you simply drag and drop your file to the applications folder. I actually prefer that and it feels like a lot more logical and smoother experience. Another thing the Mac OS does better is control of startup applications. I always hate how Steam, Olama and a bunch of other apps start up when you boot your PC. In Mac, it's as simple as removing it from this list. Now you can do the same in Windows, but it's a lot more convoluted. I just appreciate the simplicity. Now, in terms of app compatibility, I was able to find every single piece of software that I use on my Windows stack. I found the exact equivalent in the Mac OS. Compatibility has not been an issue, with the exception of gaming. You can install Steam, but the amount of games available to you on the Mac OS is severely limited. Out of my entire gaming collection, I can only install and play 11 out of those 50 or so games on the Mac OS. If you were planning to do any kind of gaming at all on the Mac OS, you should pretty much forget it. You are better off with a Windows PC purely for compatibility reasons. Annoyingly, the only application that I wasn't able to get from Windows over to Mac is Wallpaper Engine. This is a paid app that you can buy on the Steam Store and it lets you have animated backgrounds like these. It's absolutely the best app out there for animated wallpapers and it's just unfortunate there's no Mac support. I was able to find this app instead, but the amount of animated wallpapers they have is far less. For the most part, I've been pleasantly surprised by the operating system, but it's only day one, so let's see how we go as this challenge progresses. <sighs> this is painful. I think painful is the right word. There's a couple of good things, but let's start with the bad, because, well, there's a lot. After five days of using macOS exclusively, here is everything that is just giving me the shits. To start with, you can't cut and paste folders. You can cut and paste text, and you would think that logic would extend to files and folders, but it doesn't. Also, if you click on a file and hit delete, It doesn't actually delete the file. It doesn't do anything. I have to right click and send it to the trash. You then have screen pinning and it's, it's just awful on the Mac. It lets you do side by side, but it leaves a small enough gap at the top to be annoying. It's very hard to get it working correctly when you have multiple displays. And it's only half and half or quarters. You can't split it into two thirds and one third. Using Windows and Fancy Zones just gives you a better experience. Next you have File Explorer, or what Mac refers to as Finder. Again, Windows is better in this regard, there's just too many features missing. There's no file path at the top to quickly switch between folders. When you create folders, it's all over the shop, it gets very messy. Now you can snap to grid or view this as a list, but annoyingly, every single folder is different. So if you set this option for one folder, and you go into a different location, it's not consistent across the board. When you have multiple pictures within the same folder, you can't simply open one of the files and use your arrow keys to switch between all the different photos. You have to open them up individually. And while you can tag certain folders to a specific color, so you can click into the color to get directly in the folder, it doesn't work all the time. For example, green links to my YouTube folder, but when I upload a YouTube thumbnail through the file upload, those categories don't work. If you're scrolling a website, something I often do is I click my mouse wheel and just move down slightly and this will just continuously scroll down. So if you're searching Twitter or Reddit, you can just continuously scroll without having to touch anything. 
you can't do that on a Mac. The shortcuts are also weirdly annoying and don't make sense. To lock a Windows computer, you press the Windows and the L key, L for lock. On a Mac, you have to hold Command Control Q. Like, it just doesn't make sense. The final thing that frustrates me is there is no face unlock. If I had my Windows PC, I would click any button on my keyboard or just open the lid, literally sit down and I'm in. Now I've got to type my entire password in or lean all the way across my desk to hit the fingerprint sensor to then get in. This is the first world of all first world problems. I get that, but it is still annoying. Now, all of that aside, there are some good things about the Mac OS I really like. Starting with, it has an inbuilt password manager. It's fully encrypted and tied to your iCloud account, and this means you don't have to pay third-party providers like OnePass to act as a password manager. And because it's stored in iCloud, if you had an iPhone, which I don't, I like Androids and Samsungs, but if you did, it would automatically sync between your Mac and your iPhone. So I thought that was really neat. The other thing with macOS is it has an inbuilt screen recorder. I don't need to install third-party tools, it's just built into the software and it works great. For content creation and capturing my screen when I'm doing tutorials, it's been a lifesaver. I also love the global search feature. If you press command spacebar, it brings up a global search. You can type for whatever you want and it'll show you where it is on your system, which is very nice. There's also a live preview tool. Now, as somebody who deals with a lot of individual video files, instead of double clicking and opening up every single file that I've created, I can just hover over it and it'll give me a live preview with sound enabled. So I know within a couple of seconds, without even having to open my file, if I'm looking at the correct video that I wanted to kind of edit or muck around with. I made it to day 30. So what do I actually think now that I've used the Mac I also prefer the Spotify integration. So on the top right hand side of my toolbar, I've got direct access to Spotify to play any song I want. It's just a nicer look and feel than the Windows equivalent. I also really like the inbuilt notes application and calendar view. They're very minimalistic and great standalone apps. And the final thing I really like about macOS is the inbuilt terminal session. Even though the default theme blinds you, I do have to change that. It is so much better than the command prompt and it's more aligned to Linux. So all my Linux based commands generally work on this. So yeah, day five, there is some good, but oh, there's just so much annoying, just little things here and there that really frustrate me. So I made it to day 30. What do I actually think about the Mac OS now that I've been using it every day for a month? After all of the complaints I had from day five, Honestly, about two weeks into it, I kind of got used to it and I found workarounds. So to answer the question definitively once and for all, which OS is better now that I've used both full time? If I was building a brand new machine and I only cared about the operating system side by side, like that is their features, Windows, 100% any time of the day, it's objectively better and has many more features. But in the real world, that's not how it works. We have to also consider the ecosystem and the hardware that goes along with these operating systems. And to be honest, this is really where the Mac OS shines. Let's start with ecosystem. These are things like your mail, calendar, to-do list, password manager, online storage. Having it all linked to your iCloud account and having it sync across all devices running Mac OS, it's just really good. So if you've already got a Mac or an iPhone, you're probably going to enjoy the Mac OS a lot more than Windows. And when you add in hardware on top of that ecosystem, this is where Apple and Mac, it just takes the lead. There are so many books and articles written on Apple's design philosophy. At this point, it's just undeniable that the MacBooks are hands down the best laptop on the market. It's just a fact that I've now come to accept. And the Mac OS has been built to be extremely power efficient with that device. While I could emulate and run Windows on it, chances are that would tank the battery life and I would just get a device that is less performant. 
doesn't make sense. To get the most out of my hardware, I have to use a Mac OS. I like their ecosystem and it even integrates really nicely into their other hardware. So if you have headphones like the AirPods, if I'm playing something on my Mac, but then I switch over to a different Mac or an iPhone, I don't have to go into Bluetooth settings and change devices to connect to the AirPods. It'll just seamlessly change between my devices as I go to use them, a bit like magic. And so even though I personally prefer using Windows, I gotta hand it to Apple in terms of the ecosystem and the compatibility with the hardware and making great devices. I hate to say it, but Mac OS, it takes the cake. It wins this 30 day challenge. In fact, I've been so impressed with their ecosystem that next time I go to buy a phone, my decision making process has been, do I get the Google Pixel or do I get the latest Samsung phone? Now it's going to be, do I get Samsung or do I get the latest iPhone so that I can automatically switch between playback devices and have the entire ecosystem sync as well as do airdrop. So fair play to Apple. I haven't been a fan. I have actively avoided their products, but now that I've used it for 30 days, I see why they are so popular.